Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the, my videos. Here we guys the best companion tier list in Shindle Life. Now, if you guys do not know, companions were completely reworked in Shindle Life, which is why I'm going to be releasing this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, click off for more. Let's get right to this video, guys. All right, so I actually did change up the tier list a little bit for this one. From my personal perspective on companions, they are either bad, good, or broken. They're not really any in-between ones for companions because companions have the exact same moveset as the people in Shindo Storm. So... And I don't feel like there's not there's not really any middle ranks for these guys. Asher Storm's actually be going into bad. Asher Storm, from a personal opinion, does not have the AoE required to be good as a companion. Companions are actually mainly based around AoE, and Asher Storm in Shindo Storm does not have a very good AoE moveset. It's mainly single target based, and I feel like at the Asher Storm companion is much like the same because uh, Asher Storm as a bloodline just isn't very um it's not aoe based Asher storm is a very single target 1v1 type of thing and as a companion it is not good to have zero aoe atomics actually be going into good because of the atomic stun that's going to be the main reason why it's actually being good the atomic stun is actually very 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 good and if the competitor can actually land the atomic stun on someone it can help you one shot them Azim Seko is going to be going to the top of good. Uh, Azim Seko is overall a very, very good bloodline for a companion because Azim Seko does have a lot of stuns. It also uses Bolt, which is another AoE stun bloodline. So these two bloodlines combined for this companion actually makes it quite good when you're using it in certain builds. So that's why it's going to be at the top of good. Bankai is going to be going to broken. You guys know why Bankai is just so busted. It has massive AoE abilities that are really, really guaranteed to hit. So your companion does not even need to aim that much to hit them. And also has an auto dodge ability that your companion can use to avoid damage. Not only that, but it does have other AoE abilities that aren't just Bankai that it does use. And that's why Bankai is just a broken companion right now. Boromaki is going to be at the bottom of broken. It's going to be kind of the same reasons as Bankai, but it is a worse version of Bankai from a personal opinion. But the third ability of Boromaki on the companion can be very, very annoying to fight if you're the enemy. So because of that, Boromaki is just going to be at the bottom of Broken. PTS Ryan is actually going to the bottom of bad. It is basically like Kid Ryan in Shindo Storm. The abilities are very, very good for 1v1s, but as a companion, I feel like it it definitely lacks a lot when it comes to being a companion. So I, if you're getting this companion, I recommend just don't get it. Get a different one. Now, Dongin is actually going into good. I'm going to put it to the middle of good. The Dongin abilities are overall very, very, very good. Actually, no, I'm going to put it I'm going to put it to the top of good because the companion can actually use bubble abilities, if I'm not mistaken. It can use bubble abilities, which can be very, very annoying to fight, but it isn't quite as good as Bankai or Boromaki as a companion. But the dog abilities can also be quite annoying to fight. Diva Rent's going to be going into Broken. I'm going to bring it to the middle of Broken for now. It does have a block break. It has a ton of massive AoE abilities that are extremely easy to hit for a companion. And obviously, companions do not have chi amounts. So it can basically just spam Diva Ren's abilities. And as you guys might imagine, that is very, very annoying and broken. Dio Psycho has to be going into Broken as well. I'm going to be putting it below Diva Ren and above Boromaki. It does have the Dio Psycho stud, which is the main reason why it's broken. Dio Psycho as a stun on a companion is absolutely ridiculous, and that's why it's just going to be in Broken. Forge Ren Goku is also going into Broken above Diva Ren and below Bankai, because Forge Ren does spam as much as the boss does, and if you guys have ever fought the boss, I know you guys know that Forge Ren right here is very, very annoying to fight, and as a companion, it is absolutely busted. Forge Dakuma, on the other hand, is actually going into bad. I'm going to put it to the top of bad. These stuns that Forge Ren, Forge Dakuma actually uses can really, really, really mess you up while you're fighting people because the stuns make them warp away. So if they use the stun on someone as you're fighting them, trying to combo them, it can actually really, really mess you up and sometimes even double stun. Ghost Azarashi, obviously going to be going into broken. I'm probably going to be putting it actually below Diva Run and above Diosenko. Ghost Azarashi as a companion is actually very, very good because of the mode drain C-spec. Not only that, but it does have a lot of stuns it does have a lot of AoE with the third ability, and overall, Ghost Asurashi Companion is actually very, very good if you level it up. Giovanni Shizen is going to be going to the top of bad. Giovanni Shizen, as a companion, it really needs some of the, uh, it really needs to be able to use the, uh, the C-Spec more often, and overall, I feel like just Giovanni Shizen as a companion just doesn't quite match up to the other companions of the game. Glacier is actually going to the bottom of bad. From my personal opinion, Glacier, despite the first ability, is actually going to be the worst companion in the game. Because the first ability of Glacier is the main thing that actually carries it. Go to Joke, I'm going to bring it to the bottom of good. It does have a very, very high DPS output, but it has almost zero AoE. So the only reason you're ever going to be using this companion is going to be for DPS. Kabu Cobra is going to be going to, into bad below Giovanni Shizen. This is because Kabu Cobra as a companion actually is not that good. Because it while it does have a lot of stunning potential, 
the damage it does and the amount of AoE it has is actually very, very, very low. So the chances of your companion actually landing these abilities are actually quite low. Now the two Kenichi boys, uh, they're not there's not really much difference between them besides the um, the Taijutsu that they actually use and what actually uses, if I'm not mistaken, they actually use ultra instinct mode which is actually this one so uh i'm gonna be putting this one probably to the bottom of good i'm gonna put this one above that one so the two kenichi boys uh kenichi overall as a companion ability actually is not good at all because it does block your vision by a ton when they use the abilities and tie on a companion just while they can combo it is actually very very unlikely light joke is gonna be going to the bottom of broken it does use the c-spec which is the main reason why it's going to be in broken the c-spec of light joke is absolutely ridiculous third ability can actually protect you if they use the ability correctly and not only that but it does have the counter that teleports them to them to the enemy if they actually do attack them menma as a rashi has to be going to good i'm going to put it good below gold or joke and above the kidichi boys the reason for this is because menma as a rashi is quite literally just as a rashi and as rashi as a competitor just isn't the best but great spiraling spirit bomb is actually very very good Mitakami has to be going into good i'm going to be putting it probably Below Atomic and above Gold or Joke, the reason for this is because it does have very good AoE abilities, and the third ability of Minikami can actually stun for a very, very long time. Now, despite this, Minikami just isn't busted as a companion, but it is quite good to use. Naramaki is going to be going to Broken above Forged Regoku below Bankai. The reason for this is because Naramaki just has massive AoE abilities that are very, very hard to avoid on a companion, because you're simultaneously being attacked by two people, so the chances of you avoiding naramaki's abilities are actually very very low and it does have that giant damage 80k ability that could quite literally carry you odin said sabru is going to be going to good i'm putting it probably above a zip psycho below dong and the reason for this is because odin said sabru does have the clone ability which can be quite annoying to fight and that's actually going to be the main reason but it does have quite a bit of stun abilities as well okami is going to be going to bad i'm putting it below pts ryan above glacier okami just yeah i'm sure i don't really need to explain why this sort of companion just isn't good pika is actually be going to the bottom of good pika it's mainly meant as a bloodline for you it on a companion is actually not very good from my personal perspective i feel like pika on a companion just isn't good ryan akuba is actually be going to the bottom of good past pika the reason for this is because ryan akuba while it does have a decent amount of aoe in the end, Ryan Akuma on a companion just isn't it. Now, now Ryan Red Goku, on the other hand, is actually going into broken below Boromaki and above Light Joke. The reason for this is because Ryan Red's first ability is busted, and the third ability is also busted as well. The, and it does use the Z spec, by the way. I just want to put that out there. It does use Ryan Red Z spec. So, yeah, I'm actually putting this above. I'm going to be putting moving this up on the broken tier list. This is just absolutely busted as a companion. Now, this is actually normal Red Goku. Normal Red Goku, so I've been putting it to the bottom of good. The reason is because normal Ren Goku just on a companion, I don't feel like it's very, very good. But it, if it does land the second ability, it could quite literally carry you. But the chances of that happening are very, very minimal. Now, Ren Shiki is actually going into, um, uh, I'm actually going to put it into good, uh, probably above the Kenichi boys. Oh, that's not Ren Shiki. That's the wrong dude. Uh, above the Kenichi boys right here. Uh, the reason for this is because Ren Shiki does have a lot of block breakers. And because of the amount of block breakers that Ren Shiki actually has, it is actually very, very good as a companion to use against people that are spamming block. Ryzen Companion is going to be going to Broken. I'm going to put it below Bankai. It's pretty much the same exact reasons as Bankai, but Ryzer actually has a duplication glitch. I actually did post that on my channel, so be sure to check that out. But it does have a duplication check, uh, duplication glitch where you can summon more than one companion. Ryzen Shiz is actually going to, be going, going to be going into Broken. I'm actually going to be putting it below Bankai above Ryzer. The reason is because Ryzen Shiz, I don't really need to explain why. The Companion pretty much doesn't do, really doesn't have to do anything whatsoever like aiming wise it could just use the abilities and it will almost always land on your opponent now sabakus has to be going into the top of bad i don't really feel like i need to explain why this is just so bad but it is better than the other bad ones i no, giovanni shizen has to be going to the bottom of good uh giovanni shizen i feel like is better than these bad ones satori akuma has to be going into good i'm putting it above above red goku and below ryan akuma ah i'll put it above ryan akuma uh the reason for this is because these satori third abilities are actually very very good for comboing and that's re really the only reason now, Seishin is actually going to, to the bottom of Broken. The reason for this is because Seishin, as a companion, is just really, really, really broken when it actually lands. Because it does have a ton of stunning potential, and that's actually going to be the main reason why it's in Broken. Now, Shindai Akuma. Shindai is actually going into the bottom. Uh, it is pretty, pretty good, isn't it? I'm putting it below Geoseko above Boromaki. The reason for this is because Shindai, the clones actually hit your companion, and, you know, until that's fixed... It's not going to be quite as broken as it possibly could be. Shiver Akuma is actually going into good. I'm going to putting it probably... Mm, I'll put it b above Pikaseko, below the Kidichi boys. Overall, Shiver as a companion just isn't very good. But it can it can carry you sometimes just as all the other good ones can. Wanzayame is actually going into good. I'm going to put it below Satori above Riser. Not Riser Ryan. 
The reason for this is because it does use Typhoon, and Typhoon can actually carry you, but it also can hinder you at times. Exuder Doke is going to be good to the top of good. The reason for this is because it does have massive AoE high damage abilities that are very, very easy to hit for the companion. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more. See you next one, guys. Bye-bye.